Hey, ODO Wires, Maz here, and today we're diving into a fantastic new feature that was introduced in ODO 17, and that was the PDF Quotation Builder. Um, this lets you create professional quotations with custom template headers, footers, and even product information. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can add the dynamic text into your PDF template um, so that ODO automatically makes your quotes look super slick. So let's get started. So the, in the settings under the sales app, you will find here the PDF quote builder um, section. And this is where you would upload what would be the header pages of a quotation or proposal and what are the footer pages of your quotation proposal. So you might have, for example, a proposal. If I open up one of mine, okay. And on the first page, what you often have is um, details like who, who the customer is, who's prepared it, what the date is, maybe a expiration date for the quote, um, maybe a reference, and maybe even the sales order or quotation order number. Um, and this will vary between your different quotations. So rather than sort of do this manually every time you want to send something out, wouldn't it be great if it just automatically did that for you um, when you generate the PDF out of Odoo. Now, how you do that is you have to set it with some dynamic text fields. There's a couple of ways you can do this, different tools you can use. In, in this video, I'm gonna use Adobe, so Adobe Acrobat. So what you're effectively doing is you're turning um, the document into a bit of a form. So the function and the feature we're gonna use of Adobe Acrobat is the um, prepare a form. So on the left-hand side, under all tools, I've got prepare a form. So I'm gonna choose that and it's gonna say select a file. I've already got it in there. I'm gonna go create. Sometimes it has funny messages you can just ignore. So now I'm in this form builder section. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add text fields for each of the dynamic text fields that I want. So I'm gonna add all of these and I might want to put my sales order, my quotation number here, so then it's easy to find. So I've added in some fields there, but what do we put in them? Okay, so what you can do is if you go to Odoo's documentation um, for version 17, so you can see on the top right here, the version, so I'm in Odoo 17, and then just search for PDF Quote Builder. If you scroll down on this page, it gives you the dynamic text values that you need to use in order for it to pick up certain fields. So for example, if I wanted the sales order reference or the quotation reference to appear in my document, the dynamic text value is name. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy that and then up in here, this is where I wanted to have my name. I'm just gonna type name in here. So it comes up with these text field properties and that's where I'm gonna put the name. Okay, close. Then. On this one, I'm gonna do the prepared for, and then here I wanna have the customer name. So let's go back over into our documentation and the customer name field here is this dynamic text value. So I'm gonna pick that, give that a copy, go in here and double click and then I can put that in there. Okay. And then you just do the same thing with all of the other fields. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Now I've filled in all the fields in there. Now I can sort of come out of the prepare a form um, function. So I've got all my dynamic fields in there. Doesn't matter that you can't see those, they are still there. Okay, and then I'm gonna go file, save as, let's give it a name. So it's not a blank proposal anymore. It's gonna be a proposal header with fields. Doesn't actually matter what you call it. I'm gonna save. Right, so now back in my settings, I can upload that header into this here. So my proposal header with fields here, then I'm gonna click save. Now it, it can take a little while sometimes to save. Don't stop clicking around the place, just let it do its thing, okay? Okay, so it's uploaded and it's saved. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the sales app I'm gonna pick one of the quotations or the sales orders that I've already got in there. Let's go with this one. I just wanna make sure I've got some detail in all the fields that I did. So let's put a reference here, reference ABC, so you can see that appear. 
Um, okay, so let's see what it looks like. So what you do is you go up to the cog next to the number there and you print a PDF quote. So this will be the one with your headers and footers that you added in the settings. It's gonna go off, do its thing, and hopefully what we'll see when it opens up is the actual um, the actual numbers and attributes in those dynamic text fields on our quote. So let's have a look. Okay, so there you go. So here you can see the sales order number, the name of the customer, who it was prepared by, that's the username, that's the user number, the username, um, and then any other attributes that you've added in there. And so this will just pick it up every time that you create a new quotation, you don't have to sort of change these, um, you don't have to change these aspects of your proposal manually anymore. Isn't that great? It's awesome. Cheers.